back in the Mojave Preserve and we will go and show you the Rings Trail this time. And oh, we're so glad to be back here. It's so nice. Fresh pavement. They repaved the park finally. And as you can see, no people. Sorry, folks, but to be honest, we're here because you're not. Now, we already have a one hour video of the uh, Mojave Preserve, which I'll link in the description down there. And that video has links throughout it. Most all my videos, if they're long, they have links in the description that'll skip you ahead. But I do just love the Little Kelso Mountains and the giant Providence Mountains. Oh, so nice out here. This is called a cat claw acacia. I think it's squished. That's a dead Mojave green rattlesnake in the road, and this turkey vulture is waiting for us to leave so it can feast on it. This is tabletop, one of the more prominent features. We'll see it from a few angles. Oh, and here we go with this again. So in Zion we pulled into our campsite and there were deer in the campsite and here is a jackrabbit at Hole in the Wall campground. <laughs> and another rabbit just took off that way. Oh, here it is. Yeah, hole in the wall, definitely one of the nicer campgrounds. 12 bucks. There's only about five people here out of all 30 sites. You got restroom right there. Really nice fire pit. Not that I use it, but it's still nice. Nice table. Trash cans. And there's water right there. There's water for everybody, every site. I guess because of the preserves are so much free camping, they really made the uh, pay site nice. But 12 bucks, how can you beat that? And then the whole, the rings trail is right down in there. I'm squinting a lot because the sun's in my face, but I did also want to show you the, what I find for carrying a lot of water, this rig, because it's, you know, I got some of it on my shoulders, but most of it on my hips. I got half gallon, half gallon, and then I keep a little one here that I can just keep refilling. So I got easy access, easy access to my cameras, you know, really, uh, really helps out in the desert. I'll carry a backpack as well with my other gear, but this makes carrying water a lot easier. Here we go. We're going to descend into the rings trail. It's only about a hundred feet down and it loops around that way. It's only about a mile. And when you, if you go down and come back up, you won't even notice the rise coming back up. It's a very, it's a complicated bit getting down this, but um, after that, it's very easy. It's a minor picking across the rocks. Two sets of rings to help you get down, and we're already at the first one. It's not bad, but it is complicated because it's so narrow and they move around. You really gotta think about what you're doing. But that's it, it's just a few of them, and then here we are in this tiny little slot. Jump down a little step here. Pretty cool. Let's see if I can get the. And here's the next one, a few extra. Down we go. You can hear the bugs. So that one's not too bad, and you can kind of step on these rocks and just use those as a handhold. We made it. We've done this before. It's not that bad. It's a little weird, the top one especially, is a little weird to figure it out, but you'll get it. And see, and that's it. We're out of the canyon already, and then it's a short loop back that way, but Roxanne and I are actually going to take a little longer walk. Pretty cool. Weird little hole through some volcanic rock. And you got a nice shady place to hang out in the hot day. We're just doing a tiny bit of exploring through here.
and we're out of the little canyon. Here we are. See, we're out of there, and the Rings Loop, that's a very short walk back, half a mile by the most. Barber Peak Loop Trail, this is a connector to both of these mid hills to hole in the wall is a long hike up to a campground where you really would need a shuttle. The Barber Peak Loop is a six mile loop. I don't know what we're gonna do. That's a bull, he's not moving, he's just staring at us. They spooked. And those other ones spooked, but whew, a little bit nerve wracking. The sound, to me, it's the sound of summer. I grew up in on Long Island in New York, and the June bugs, you know, you hear this noise and they sound like summer. I can tell these are not the same insect, but this, the, and there's a lot more of them. But that noise is, yeah, it sounds like summer to me. We don't have any anything like that in Berkeley. It's much too cool, or just rarely, very rarely. You might be wondering, where is Barber Peak? Well, it's a tiny little point on top of the hill that is constantly to our right throughout this hike. We don't really even notice it. Now, if you were looking at the other signs, you might be a little confused by these. So are we. I'm gonna look at my map. But I know we go this way and around. So this is pretty nice walking up this wash. And I think what happened behind us is there's a horse trail that we had intersected with. And now we're back on the Barber Loop Trail heading, which is also the hole in the wall to Mid Hills Trail until a junction up ahead. We're at 83 degrees and a nice breeze. We're not going over that, we're going around in between those two. I don't see a yucca like that every day. Wrong as usual, we're going up through that thing I said we weren't. Eat one? Go ahead, grab it. A lot of wind up here on the little pass. Right, so here's some craziness. This little slot comes through and it backed up there. And that's where it used to stop and stuff would probably just push over and wash over. And so many years ago, apparently somebody built a little dam here. You can see. That's cement. There's your little water access. Thing is, all this area, this stuff happened in like the 1920s. So almost 100 years ago, 1930s even, maybe. It could even be as late as 1950, but it's been a long time. So now it's all just silted over. It's just completely filled up because it hasn't been used in so long. Pretty cool. There are just enough signs tell you which way to go if you don't have a good GPS or map. You really should have one or both. If you're out here, now we're at the bottom of this. But just make sure you pay careful attention to these kind of little posts and you'll get there. Here's a nice confusing sign for you. A nice bit of shade to take a break in.
going to stop over there, but I guess we stop here. going to come through that fence and I'll show you what's behind me. A couple signposts. Barreling northward towards Death Valley. See some stuff out there. Okay, folks, thanks for coming with us, and we'll see you next time.